Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Trailer Talk, another episode of the show where I sit by my trailer and talk to people, and we also sing a song. Welcome to the final week of Trailer Talk for this season. We have the finale about to happen, and I made a promise to myself that during finale week, I would feature whoever was left on Team Legend. And we have one superstar talent left on Team Legend. She comes from Chicago, Illinois. She is soulful, she is a badass, and she is going to win the voice. Make some noise for Katie Kaden. What's up, y'all? Katie! Hey! I'm so excited. I, you know, I, I hate to predict from the beginning of the show who's gonna make it to the finale, mm -hmm. but I knew that you were gonna make it to the finale. Did you know? I knew. Did you know? Maybe. Uh-huh. Mm, I knew. <laughs> you know, sometimes certain people just have that it factor. You have the superstar quality, that presence, that amazing voice. You are what the voice is for, Aww. to highlight talent like yours. And we're so excited to have you. I'm so excited you chose me for your team. Are you having fun? I'm having so much fun. Tell me, like, tell me about the behind the scenes. Like, who did you make good friends with among the other competitors? I think one of my best friends was uh, Ricky Braddy. Ricky, okay, mm -hmm. yes, yes. And of course, Rose. Rose, you and Rose, you're me like. And Rose, we're you, best buddies. They just sang Madonna. I don't know if you guys <laughs> saw it last week, but they sang Express Yourself, and it was incredible. Oh, yeah. You two together. <laughs> I feel like you you need to stay in touch with her. We definitely are. We're going to start our own podcast. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. What gonna are you going to be... talk about? Well, we're just going to talk about whatever we feel like talking about, basically. It could be food. It could be God. It could be complaining. Can I visit? Uh, you w better Would you we interview want... me on your podcast? Let me think about it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to be on their podcast, Rose <laughs> and Katie. What, do you have a name for it yet? We don't have a name for it yet, but okay. it's going to be amazing. Folks, in the comments, please submit possible <laughs> names for Rose Absolutely. and Katie's podcast it's gonna be I can't wait you guys got to sing on it though too oh we're gonna sing okay. we're gonna do it all yeah that would be a lot of fun so <laughs> crab legs are gonna be a part of it that's Rose's stipulation <laughs> crab legs <laughs> this makes me happy crab legs I want to come eat with y'all too <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of fun. we'll cook together I can cook I heard you could cook I can cook what's all your right. favorite thing to cook do you like to cook? well now I'm vegan oh okay so I'm switching it up but I'm not gonna lie I miss meat sometimes. Mm. It's kind of delicious. I haven't gone vegan um, yet. I, well, you know, you should try like two, three days a yeah. week. It makes all the difference. I will try that. You should. I will try, maybe. It makes, I know, right? <laughs> like, there's nothing like ribs. <laughs> Actually, one of my favorite things to do was to barbecue for friends. Uh, so I'd cook all the meat, but now it's I, a bunch of grilled veggies. You know, of course, Chrissy hey. and I, we love to cook for our friends. And this is one of my favorite things to do is to entertain people cook for them yes. it's, it gives you a lot of joy and it gives other people a lot of joy too. it does yeah. and nobody's crabby because you know their bellies are full. yeah exactly it's, i'm into it a way to everyone's heart their stomach yes yes True story. so now we found out we had a lot more in common than we knew and mm -hmm. we both grew up in the pentecostal church we did hooping in a holler hooping in a holler and speaking in tongues and <laughs> we both uh were homeschooled we were how cool are we how long were you homeschooled Oh my gosh, from third grade all the way through high school. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, so um, do you have siblings that were homeschooled at the same time with you? Just me and my sister, who okay. she must have loved more than my older siblings, because they're, they're about 10, 11 years older than me. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. See, my parents were the reverse. They like really were focused on the first two, which <laughs> were me and my, uh, my older brother, Ron, and then things started to fall off later. <laughs> they got divorced, you know, a lot of stuff happened. But, uh, you know, we all started going to school after my sixth grade years when I started going to public school regularly. Okay. And then I spent, you know, eighth grade in high school in public school. But the beginning of my life, uh, most of those years were at homeschool. Was it a hard transition from homeschool to school? Yes, and I was young too. So my mom, I was a good student and she would kind of push me ahead of my peers. So by the time I went to eighth grade, I was two years younger than my, my classmates. And so I was going to eighth grade at age 11, going to high school at age 12. So it was very hard transition socially. Totally. Um, I did well in school, but socially it took me a while to like get through my shyness. And music was always a thing that made me feel like, oh, okay, I can be a part of this. Me too. Well, I was real quiet and shy when I was younger, mm -hmm. but 
as soon as people are around, I'm like, let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> so when you would interact with other young people your age during the school years, was it through music? What, what through church? It was through choir. Yeah. I was in a, a big choir in Chicago. We perform every year with the Chicago Symphony Choir. Oh, cool. So that's where I came from. Was this like life. classical music? Classical music. I, wow. I studied opera too. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Kelly, it's been a minute. You could have been on Kelly Clarkson's team if Blake did not block you. <laughs> <laughs> she is a, she's an opera, you know, she was trained in opera as well. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, and uh, she would have loved working with you. I know she's so jealous that you're on my team. Mm. I'm sorry, sorry Kelly. Kelly. Thank you, Blake. I love you, man. You're such a great, <laughs> great, great man. I love you. I love you like a brother. All right. I think we should sing a gospel song. I think we should I think that. it I'm would excited. be so lovely. And we're going to sing a classic. Uh, this is like when folks want to sing a song and show off their voice. <laughs> this is one of those go-to songs. Let's His eye it. is on the sparrow. Discouraged. Why should the shadows come? Mm -hmm. Why should my heart be lonely and long for heaven's home? Jesus is my portion, my constant friend is he, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches. Because I'm happy, I sing because I'm free. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches. I sing because I'm free. Oh, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. Make some noise for Katie Kaden, everybody. Hey.